Well, guys, we're, what, two days or so after Junk Festa, and guess what? We got nothing. Santa Claus didn't bring anything in his lovely bag for us. Um, people out here having mixed feelings about the situation. I'm personally pissed because as a content creator, they just kind of halted a lot of people's, you know, pages, meaning that we're not probably going to be able to do prediction videos anymore due to Yonko Productions saying that there's 12 characters on the way. Yes, he did say there's going to be 12 characters on the way. We all assume it was going to be during Jump Festa. Logically, that makes sense. It should be coming at Jump Festa because he's announcing 12 that he know of, but it didn't happen. Okay, so all we think we got from Jump Festa was a good trailer. I mean, the trailer is pretty sweet. Honestly, I think the trailer made Asta look way, way better than Deku, and that's not fair. But, I mean, overall, let's just say the trailer was lit. Okay, let's say it was lit. Everything non-Jump Force related, Jump Fest to deliver on. Four new animes coming. They didn't deliver on the Bleach rumors going on. Bleach might be coming back. Uh, another Dragon Ball project coming back. I mean, Kishimoto got the Samurai 8. That's going to be interesting to look at. Um, other than that, Guys, Jump Festa kind of failed in my opinion. We were all having these great expectations other than Billsby. I mean, let's give it to him. He did kind of say that don't look forward to anything because it wasn't coming. Honestly, I thought since this is probably the last event before the game comes out that they would go and try to jam pack everything in there. If you see my last two videos, guys, what I kept saying, no less than eight. Anything less than eight the show failed then i even brought it down and said just give us five five names we already know four of them got to be naruto characters to catch up with the rest of the um cover stars they couldn't even do that now give or take these 12 characters that yako productions was speaking of is definitely legit there's no doubt about it now if you follow me on twitter which you should be doing I have a lot of stuff I'll be talking about on Twitter. A lot of people know they jumped on the bandwagon. They made a Twitter. They interact with me more, mostly daily. You should be one of those guys. But um, Yonko does not say something that doesn't happen. You know what I mean? He's probably the most credible source. For me, it's Nini Spangle. Now, maybe Nini gets sources from Yonko. I don't really follow Yonko, but I get mine from Nini. So if Nini said it, it's true. Now, Yonko said it was 12. Then damn it, it's 12. I don't care. We're going to get 12. The question really is, is there just 12 left? If so, then it's a piss poor roster. You're not going to tell me that we only got 12 characters left to look forward to. And then maybe nine DLC. Like, no. So if you, I, 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 I don't know. Let's do the math. Let's say it's about 34, 33 characters already announced. You add the 12. You're looking at 45, right? And then a 9 DLC. So we're looking at a 50 something roster. I predicted a 66 character roster. Which would make more sense. It would definitely represent the 50, 50 years of, of Jonah Jump. To be honest with you guys. I feel like this game has absolutely nothing to do with the 50th anniversary. I know I said it's stupid. But listen to me. They made a game. A Jump Force Avenger game. That just so happened to fall on the 50th anniversary. Because if you really are going to represent 50 years, you're being so disrespectful to the Weekly Shonen Jump magazine. I'm triggered! All the rich characters that are not getting included. It's not just about Dragon Ball Z. It's not about Naruto. It's not about One Piece. Now, I appreciate all the characters that are in the game. It's still going to be a fun game. But people like Cobra, Kaneko Man, Dark Schneider. Like, where are these characters? Where are these OG characters that we are looking for? Arale. Like, come on. So, let's get on to the Yonko Productions thing. Everybody's talking about he's canceled. He's not canceled because here's the thing that made you guys look really stupid. What in the fuck was that? put all your eggs in one basket. Since when? And this, this also happens in the NBA 2K community. Why is it when leaks come out, that's when everything is so hype. You're like, oh man, a leak came out. We're excited. Leaks are not cool, guys. I know we all are looking for the latest character and whatnot, but from a business standpoint, that's messed up. Imagine you had a manga idea, right? You shared it to your friend. And your friend went and just tweeted the whole idea. 
What are you looking forward to? You already told everybody my thing. I'm pissed now. I guarantee you that whatever Yanko said caught wind of Bandai Namco and they shut it down. Completely shut it down. And I don't blame them. It sucks because I'm a content creator, so getting early news works out very well in my favor. But I understand as a businessman myself, I understand that they got to put a halt on this because maybe they have other plans. Now, whatever plans they have is probably terrible because Bandai Namco has been terrible the entire time of marketing. They have been, they have been showing Ace Combat like no tomorrow. And you know why? Because it's the 20th anniversary, guys. Ooh, that's special. 20 years. I mean, maybe the 50th anniversary means something more to them for Ace Combat. Maybe we'll get a parade. Because Jump Force, they don't care. I want to say they care. We get excited, guys. We see the um, we see the Asta. We see the Midoriya trailer. We're like, yes, we're hype. We're hype. Day one, we was hype. We saw it. They came out with the uh, the Yusuke demon form. We all was hype. But guys, if you really look at it, that's nothing. We already knew Yusuke was going to have a demon form. He had one of J-Stars. Asta and Deku was already announced. Yes, we got a small 1 minute 30 second trailer. Didn't really showcase much. Whatever. Where's Piccolo? Where's Cell? Where's Aizen? Where's these characters that we know are in the game that we have seen nothing of them? Sabo. Sanji. Come on. Korra Pika. I want to see some Korra Pika gameplay. You had a whole entire stage that you could have displayed whatever you want. And the most exciting thing you guys did was add two children, come on stage, and play Jump Force. The beta at that. It wasn't like they had access to all the characters. They had the beta. Am I pissed off? No, I'm not pissed off. I'm just disappointed because you guys had an opportunity to showcase this game. You knew everybody. You knew it was streaming this. You knew everybody was going to watch this all around the world. And this is the best you're going to do? No. I'm telling you guys, Bandai Namco pulled the plug on this. Yanko, it's not his fault. Even And now, now speculation and rumors going around. It's like, oh, everybody's like, oh, wait, Yanko's talking about like the 12 days of Christmas. No, I'm not giving that much credit. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. Yanko was shocked, just like we were shocked about them pulling the plug. Because even then, afterwards, he tweeted, it was like, oh, they're showing new characters on a police stage at Jump Festa. Well, guess what? They don't want nobody seeing this because, yes, he's a credible source, but also they're like, you're ruining plans that we had lined up. Whatever plans that is, I'm pretty sure it's trash, like I said before, because their marketing has been trash for this game. Am I surprised? No. I am a little shocked that they didn't show at least one new character. It could be one. Tomorrow's Christmas. Maybe we'll get something Christmas. I strongly doubt it because I think... The magazines, V Jump Shoulders, all that stuff goes on. They pause it for two weeks for holiday. So two weeks from now, you're not gonna get any news until two weeks. So you had this much time, but yet you wasted it. You completely wasted the whole stage. Now I'm not gonna do. Like I got told you guys. If you watch my video the first time, my, my roster video, that should be up right over here. There will be no more roster predictions for me. There's 12 characters that we definitely know are coming. 12. We don't know who, who's in the 12, but we can speculate because earlier that day, Rhyme Styles and Yonko Productions were just trolling people and playing on people with heartstrings. And I didn't like that at all because, I mean, you get a lot of retweets and likes or whatever, but you were playing on people with heartstrings. And we do know that he definitely announced Suna. He name dropped Suna. We got Dio. We got Koro Sensei, Joe Taro. So that's four, okay? Four characters, four characters that we definitely know should be in the game because he's dropped GIFs or GIFs and images of these people in cartoon form or anime form. Another character, another four we could just say, Naruto has to catch up. So you add four and four is eight characters. What, we got four more to speculate about? No, I'm not playing a speculation game any longer, guys. But... That's the latest of all the junk we've gotten from Jump Festa. And a Santa bag of goodies, we had got nothing. Except a trailer, a couple images. I mean, you could have did that any day of the week. Why do you wait to have a special stage to not showcase anything? 
they did a terrible job guys but anyway guys if you like the video definitely like share and comment guys and subscribe I'm eight away from 500 on my 500 uh, subscribers I got a video for you guys why I have 500 instead of 800 it's very interesting because I went from 700 got bumped down to about four ish okay so I'm only eight away or well, whatever eight away from 500 so I'm gonna roll to 500 and then I'm gonna roll to 1000 afterwards thank you guys for all your support you guys do for me uh, thanks for watching the video and if you're not following me on Twitter definitely do that a lot of my subscribers follow me on Twitter we interact every day about jump force anime all kind of funny stuff happens on Twitter definitely if you don't have a Twitter get a Twitter all right guys I hope you have a great holiday uh, Merry Christmas whatever um, holiday you celebrate have a good one, guys. Thanks.